If there's one thing I've learned in my time, it's that productivity is a hell of a drug that the technology community can't get enough of. Buying a programming course gives you a crazy shot of dopamine, and it gives you a reward for doing something that you really haven't yet completed, but you've kind of set out to do it, so your body automatically thinks that you've already accomplished it. No, that's not science. I made it up, but it could be true, and it's probably science. You become a meme of sorts to say that anything that you want to learn can be found for free on the internet, but it truly is spot on. Want to learn how to build beautiful performant websites? Here's the next JS website where they take you from starting to finish of building your own website with server-side rendering and all the cool features that come along with it and Next as a whole. Want to learn how to build terminal applications? Take a tour of Go on their website where they walk you through the basics of packages, variables, functions, conditional logics, and more. And you don't have to go anywhere but the actual website of Go. Want to learn computer vision? Here's the entire course library for OpenCV where you can get started in machine learning, computer vision, and learn the basics of the syntax and the generic functions that they build in OpenCV directly. I think you now get the point that all this information is available to those who actually go out and seek it. Oftentimes it's too easy to say that you bought a course and feel as though you completed the course already even if you haven't started it because the productivity of purchasing something almost gives you the same reward as finishing something. I can almost guarantee that many of the courses you see on the front page of Udemy were built by engineers who basically did the same thing we're doing here today. They just go online, find free resources, put their own spin on it, and then market it as a course that they build. The question then becomes, what is setting you apart from those engineers? Those engineers that take the time to seek out those free resources and add their own take on it. A simple answer would be reward. In order to reap the reward of something like OpenCV, you need to take the time to go through all of the coursework, and it's not spoon-fed to you in a way that a Udemy course would be. You need to go through, see what's valuable to you, see what builds on top of your use case, and you need to then glean that and make sure you're focusing on the correct things, and no one's going to be holding your hand during this. The main reward to a tutorial-based course such as Udemy is backwards. I believe that you should be rewarded by the knowledge that you're actually taking away from the course that you set out to complete. And you shouldn't be rewarded from just the sheer completion itself, which I fear is exactly what's happening in these Udemy courses with their ability to track stats, percentage complete, and the amount of courses that I see people buying that I know for sure they're not actually finishing. Now you could say that the style of learning is more conducive when you're on Udemy. Say that you're a visual-based learner, and I would say I understand that. I understand that learning styles are important, they're different, and especially when you're tackling a new skill, technology, or field, you certainly wanna put as few barriers between you and the completion or the gathering of knowledge that you need. While I'd implore you not to pigeonhole yourself into one style of learning, I am very much empathetic to different learning styles. I would say though that reading is one of the most important skills that you need to learn as a software engineer. You're going to be reading documents all the time. You're going to be reading documentation. You're going to be building documentation. It needs to be legible. And I really would implore you not to pigeonhole yourself and get away from your skill in reading because you think that you're a visual learner. However, the goal of this isn't to get you away from whatever preferred learning method you have. I'll do that another day. The goal of this is to get you to see that the reward-based system of Udemy and other paid for courses is entirely backwards to the goals that we have outset for ourselves as software engineers. The goal, as I said, of a course should be the knowledge you take away, the skills you're developing, the applications you're now able to build, and you should only look for a course when you have a specific goal in mind, whether that's learning the initial syntax of a language or that's trying to build some sort of new application that's on the verge of becoming an important project that you can take forward. Now, with all that said, all of that is doable with purely free content. I'm not here to take away any sort of revenue from people that are making courses. I plan on making one myself in the future, even though I've said that for like a year now. Courses are great. If you want to buy a course, go ahead and buy a course. But what I am telling you is you can learn to become a software engineer based on purely free online resources, online communities, and online learning. You don't need some sort of higher power telling you that this is the course that you need to have if you wanna to learn to become a software engineer in 10 minutes or 10 days or 10 weeks, whatever. Everyone learns at their own pace, but all these resources are available to you online. They're free and they're extremely useful. And I just don't want to see people keep going down the rabbit hole of Udemy, thinking that they're being productive when they're merely just buying courses. Just like everything else in the technology space, we've taken a tool that's inherently for our benefit, for our learning, which is Udemy, something that's supposed to teach us daily skills. And we've turned it into a grindy, 
progressive video game of sorts where all we want to do is complete a course and we're not really trying to take away the most knowledge we possibly can from that course. Now, I'm not saying you can't do that with free resources. You definitely can. But there's really less incentive to say that you just completed a free resource, right? If there's really some sort of Udemy course that everyone's really into right now, it's very popular. There's a lot more incentive to say that you completed the course, you have the course, you have the unattainable knowledge that you got from the course and those who haven't gotten it yet need to get it and you're somehow above them. All of that knowledge is available online, whether it's through Google, whether it's through some sort of industry standard website like Go or the Next.js website. All of these programming languages, all of these programming libraries are really incentivized to make a tutorial for you, to make an introductory course to, for you or free on their website so that more people come and use their resource and the ecosystem develops around that. The goal of this is just to get us back to the central premise that knowledge is above all what we should be striving for in our daily life and especially when we're becoming software engineers. There's not some sort of golden ticket that's on some influencer course or a Udemy course or a very popular YouTubers course that's going to get you from where you currently are to where you want to be as a software engineer. All that learning needs to be done internally. And it's almost better if you find it yourself because half of your job as a software engineer is going to be you having to find solutions to problems that you have that may not be documented in some sort of seamless document that's on some sort of popular website. You're going to have to look for these answers within the slews of Stack Overflow posts and Reddit, etc. So it's good to get used to it now, rather go back in time and have to try to fix it in the future. If there's one thing I want you to take away from watching this video, it's that almost all beginner knowledge inside of the software engineering space is free. You can find it yourself on the internet. There's no reason to pay for courses. All you need to do is sit down, focus, and learn as much as you possibly can, and you'll be okay.